Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It's not really a good morning. It's kind of a crappy, devastating morning here in Serbia. Uh, just a quick update here. Uh, and I'll get off here. I want to get it uploaded. But I uh, just wanted to give a big hug to all those Serbs that's uh, been devastated in, in Republika Srpska, in the Bosnian Federation also, a lot of destruction. And here in Serbia, mainly, uh, tons of destruction here. Uh, some of the hardest hit places, this massive flooding for the last two days, it hasn't quit raining. It, it's quit raining here in Zimun right now, and it's lighter out than it had been. Uh, but uh, Doboy in Republika Srpska, Banja Luka, they said three bridges were out in Banja Luka. Doboy is underwater, like tons of water, the whole city. Uh, it's a big city, too. Uh, here in Serbia, Loznica, Kraljevo, um, Lazarevac, um, Krupan, uh, Apatine, or no, sorry, uh, Paracin. Uh, so many of these cities in central Serbia have been just, just disgusting with the, the effects of that. You know, so there's going to be a lot of cleanup, a lot of recovery, a lot of problems. You know, this country can't afford massive things like this. You know, Vucic, uh, your president, your vice president, no, sorry, your prime minister or whatever he is in Serbia, you get a different system, sorry. Uh, he was out uh, distributing blankets on a helicopter in the rain. Uh, not, not to criticize him, I shouldn't smirk like that, you know, but it, probably 90% of it is... Um, for publicity's sake, but I'm sure, you know, e even in, he, he's already won the election, and he, he's probably eyeing the presidency in a few years, but uh, still, I can't see Harry Reid, John Boehner, Nancy Pelosi, my high-up politicians out in a, in a storm getting dirty like that, so, you know, he, he, he deserves just a, a tiny ounce of credit for that, but he had stated that uh, this is the worst flooding ever in Serbia, and it couldn't come at a worse time, I mean, it's crop season, there's, there's corn and, and gardens have been planted that these people rely on and they're, they're totally underwater. There's going to be a ton of devastation here, you know. Such good people in this part of the world and it really seems that the majority of the storm system was, was, was against the Serbs, you know. So, that's just the truth. And you know what? Sorry to eat. You know what really pissed me off too? Talking about the fucking, the freaking media. My mother, I, I sent her pictures and everything of what was going on. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe it. She said, those people rely on their gardens. I ain't gonna have anything. I said, yeah, I know. She sent me another message and she said she looked on CNN. Couldn't find one mention of flooding devastation here in Serbia or Republic of Serbska. Didn't even mention it, you know. <laughs> now that's fair and honest reporting, right? If a Serbian out here on the street, goes up to me, smacks me in the face, I could mention that and that would probably be a headline on CNN. Not because I'm a famous piece of shit or anything, but it's the fact that I'm an American and a Serbian does something negative to, to an American or somebody else, it's front page headlines. But if some struggle, horrible thing happens to a Serbian, it doesn't seem like it gets as much attention. Maybe that's just because I'm, I care more about the Serbs, I don't know, and I think that way. but. Terrible. Um, a lot of people have asked me uh, to keep updated. I, I, I stayed up so, so late last night updating pictures and things and, and information on cities because a lot of the diaspora use my page as a way for information. Uh, when you can't find stuff on CNN, you can't find information. I have a lot of kids here in Serbia that uh, message me and ask me for updates because uh, a lot of these kids, if you're from the U.S., you might not understand why. But a lot of these kids, once they leave 8th grade in Serbia, if they're in a small town, they have to go to the next bigger city to study. And, and they're, you know, young kids, you know, so they're far away from their families. And it, the information here in Serbia is it's not, the media is not covering some cities. Uh, like in Krupan, they said it was a disaster and, and it wasn't getting very much mention. But a lot of these kids contact me and said, hey, I'm worried about my parents. Have you heard anything about uh, Lazarevac? Have you heard about this, 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 this? So I try to keep them updated, and it's a scary situation for those guys, you know, guys and gals that are away from their, their families. Uh, so trying to do that, and a lot of people have asked me about relief funds and things such as that, and I've had, I've had six 
five or six people say that they're starting one and you know I want to be really careful I don't want to, I know this sounds kind of cruel but I don't want to start one personally it's a lot of work and it's a lot of responsibility and there's a lot of scams and I don't want to be anything to do with that uh, there's a very good man Slobodan Kristic uh, from California he's a California Serb uh, a, a very well-respected gentleman and a friend of mine and he started one so I will put that in this description uh, it's through FundMe, which is a good site also, and uh, he's going to try to get this money and then get it right to the people that need it, and I believe this guy, he's an honest man, and uh, so he's the one I recommend, and I'm going to put that in there. So if anybody needs, and I hate to do it because it's a pain, but Serbians cannot use PayPal. You can pay with PayPal, but you can't receive money with PayPal. If there's an emergency situation and you need a PayPal uh, to receive something, you can send it to me. Uh, and I will take it, but uh, for me to withdraw it from the bank is a pain because I've got to send it to this wonderful young lady here, Tash, uh, and then she has to withdraw it from her bank because bank, my Bank of America savings card does not work at ATMs, and my first neighbor bank does not work in, in, in Serbia all either. So it's a kind of a hassle, but I'd do it if you needed it, you know, uh, major, major circumstances. Anyway. Once again, the rain stopped here in Zimun, um, and hopefully it'll be that way. They showed this, the storm system still sitting over this part of the world, and they say it could rain until Saturday. But I'm safe. I'm on the eighth floor up here in Zimun, and there's not much flooding here. Just randomness out in the streets and stuff, but I'm, I'm cool. Uh, the water's not safe and drinkable, they say, in many cities. So a lot of those cities that are cut off, I don't know how they're going to get bottled water and stuff. Um, Serbia doesn't have a big fleet of aircraft and helicopters, but uh, I guess Russia sent, is sending 60 uh, special forces here to assist. They said the Serbs in Kosovo uh, are coming up to help. Um, so it's, it's terrible that it happened where it did in the poorest, some of the poorest parts of Serbia. Uh, not that you want it to happen anywhere. I, I don't want wish any ill on anyone, but... To happen down in the, in the you know, Loznica and Apati and uh, Paracin and, and uh, Krupan. I mean, that's a, that's a poor part of the country, you know. No buttering it up, it is. And those people rely on gardens and crops and, and they're going to lose a lot of it. So, anyway, my heart's with you. My family's heart's with you. We love you Serbs. We love you, anybody that's suffering. So, be strong. Take care. Vidimo se posto.